Once again, my name is Noah, and I'm very excited to introduce the creator's performance for you. I'm not gonna say too much, because I don't wanna give anything away. All I'll say is, this is entitled, Potato, a time travel story. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes sense. Last year, one was beans. They didn't Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next time it was used, to find out why they're really mad. Here, 
and no one even knows I'm here, so I can be all happy and alone. Finally come to my re favorite restaurant, Rice Ball and Pizza Co. <laughs> That's just perfect thing to go on a date. Can't wait for dinner, you know, have rice balls, I'll have lots of pizza. <laughs> all right, see you. <laughs> oh, I sweat. Oh. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Well, you know, it's, well, I was wondering, you know, because I know you love the place Rice Balls and Pizza, and their pizza there is so good. And They serve know. soup. <coughs> right. And, and, you know, maybe sometime we should go together, you know, after because it's my cheat day. <laughs> How do you know I go there? I purposely never let anyone know to see me there. So that way I can be alone and socialize. Were you watching me? No, I, I, I have a connection with you. And I'm kind of tired of this thing over and over. Rejection, rejection. I'm sick of it, okay? I know everything about you. I know your favorite movie, <laughs> your favorite place to eat. And I mean, you know, that's a lot. And I'm kind of sick of you rejecting me. So we're going to go on a date. We're going to have a really fun time. <laughs> I got to go. A really fun time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, is it okay if I eat lunch with you today? Yeah, sure, it's fine. Okay. So, uh, how are you? Good. Yeah, I'm good. You? Oh, yeah, I'm great. Uh, I was just, I wanted to apologize for, for last it, night. I know it was. Hey, it's fine. It's fine. Relax. It's fine. Don't but it, it's not it's fine. fine. I'm going to make it up to you. I swear. I'll dinner with you and the kids every night this week. You know, I was thinking we could go out, just the four of us, you know, like we used to. Well, I'm, I'm a bit busy, but I could probably free up some time. Okay, well, I'll uh, <coughs> try to make time. Um, the kids, they got their report cards. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Uh, definitely saw that. And I get a good look glanced at, at it. Yeah. Uh, actually, about the kids. How old were they again? <laughs> Why are you asking me? I just want to make sure that you know. Well, of course I know. A good mother knows her children's age. Why don't you <laughs> tell me that? Patricia is in grade two. Nine. Grade <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I meant to say. Grade nine. Right. I just, I haven't, I know I haven't been just, around. I just, I'm going to try, okay? I swear, I'll be around more. Um, I just, it's fine. Mike, just, just let me make it up to you, okay? Please. I want a divorce. No, you don't. 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 No. No, 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 no. You don't. You always do this. Please. No. Okay. Okay, this is fine. I'll just, I'll, I'll try it again. You can't just. <laughs> I brought you your favorite meal, risotto. Uh, yeah, love it. yeah. I, uh, um, okay, I'll keep this for later. So, how, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, good. I'm good. Great. Uh, I was thinking maybe sometime this week uh, we could go out for dinner, just the two of us, you know, a date. Uh, I, I wanted to make up for last night. I know what I do with my stuff. Well, it's and fine. before you say it's fine, no, it's not fine. I'm going to make it up to you, okay? I've been a bit busy, but um, I could probably free up some time, yeah. Okay, all right, I, I'm free whenever, you know. You sure? Yeah, of course. All right, what do you say? Patricia's in grade nine, and, and Johnny's in grade 10, and I know that their report cards came out, and I, they did great, I looked at them. I'm glad about all of that. <laughs> well, I just, I wanted, 
I know that you know. I wanted you to know that I know because I want you to know that I'm paying attention. I'm a good mother, okay? Okay, the fact that you had to tell me that really says a lot. I know, please. You don't understand. I'm just trying to... Okay, I don't know what's... Okay. Please, oh, please, okay. please, okay. don't. Please. Please. I will do anything. Yeah, I will quit my job if you want me to. Don't I will be the perfect this. mother, the don't. perfect wife, the perfect... I want a divorce. My, that decision please. is final. Oh, I'm not going to argue with you. No, please. no. I am done with this. All of it. I'm no done. No matter how many times I try, this will never be enough. You know, maybe, maybe time travel causes more problems than I'd imagined. And I still need the full scope every time it's used to see why they're mad. I guess on to the next class it was used in.
You need, and you can't just run from your problems. You have to face them head on. Which, I'm so sorry that it took me, or no, all of you, just to find out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for picking on you guys. I'm sorry. I'm still top of the class. I'm still a failure. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm such a creepy stalker, but like, I'm still open for coffee. <laughs> no way, Jose. I'm married to my muscles. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm really sorry. Mike, I didn't mean to manipulate you. I'm sorry for yelling. <laughs> and son, you're expelled. Clean that up. I don't want to hear it. See y'all in hell. of Summer Stage, I have some awards to hand out. So first off, this individual has a very strong sense of self and it really shows off to everyone and it's incredibly infectious. And in theater, it's very important that we have people that even when we're doing an activity that might be a little bit nerve wracking or something people have never done before, someone takes the initiative and steps up to the challenge and inspires all the other people in the class to have the same excitement. So I would like to give the Initiative Innovator Award to Piper. <laughs> a very interesting mind and was able to come up with lots and lots of great ideas. And this camp was highly focused on storytelling with the intention to make the piece of theater that you just saw, which was made completely from scratch. And so having someone who is willing to present their ideas, no matter how big or crazy they may be, is so, so, so important. And so for the Unconventional Genius Award. I would like to hand this to Desmond. <laughs> this next person, when they first walked into camp, I could tell was not fully sure how they felt about the camp itself or maybe theater. And as the camp progressed, I slowly saw them step out of their shell and it was really a delight to watch them slowly start to gain more confidence when it came to collaborating with others and really stepping up to the challenge that theater can sometimes provide. So for the Rising Phoenix Award, I'd like to give this to Adi. <laughs> now once again, we have another person who just had a very radiant <coughs> spirit. Whenever they walked into the drama room, they were completely ready and willing to learn and do whatever the task at hand was, and was always inspiring others with their positivity that was completely unshaken for the entire two-week camp that we were together. So I'd like to give the Positivity Spotlight Award to Julia. <laughs> of theater that we devised together as a group and when doing this when devising theater as a group it can often be difficult when you have lots of people with lots and lots of great ideas 
And this individual not only was able to come up with their own ideas, but also was incredible at incorporating ideas from other people and finding a way to thread them all together and turn it into greatness, in addition to also being a very great actor. I'd like to give Sophie the Undercover Playwright Award. Now, this next award is for a, another person who walked into camp a little bit unsure of what they were getting themselves into, which, you know, very valid reaction to a theater <laughs> camp. It can be quite daunting, but as the week, as the two weeks progressed, I slowly started to see the wheels turning and the excitement for theater starts to arise. So the Evolving Passion Award will go to Corin. <laughs> start to improvise and explore characterization. I saw they had quite the knack when it came to comedy. They were always picking big, outrageous characters that made us all burst into laughter. And I think we saw some of that in this production as well. So I'd like to give the Goofy Giggle Giver Award <laughs> to Ambeline. <laughs> One thing that's very important with it is being able to think outside the box and come up with opinions that you can see all sorts of different angles. And so this individual was not only opinionated when it came to their characters and their plots, but really was just always actively um, standing up for what they believed in. So the Perspective Pioneer Award goes to Lauren. <laughs> is going to someone who sometimes faced a little bit of nervousness when it came to the activities we were doing. And it was so amazing to watch this person fight off that nervousness completely and just embody every single activity that they gained the confidence to be able to do. And we started off the week and there was a bit more nerve. And as we slowly progressed, I watched this person just fully step into their eccentric theatrical self. So the Versatile Virtuoso Award goes to Ruby. <laughs> now, last but not least, this award goes to someone who is a very, very versatile performance. I got the chance to see them do more comedic roles, more serious roles, and they really, really stood out to me when it came to improv. Now, improv is a very important skill to have because it means ideas are constantly coming into your head, which as if you are a director, people who are always inspired and looking for the next thing are some of the best people to work with. So the Director's Dream Award goes to Eliza. Woo! 